No matter what industry you're in, a successful business knows how to build on its strengths and correct its weaknesses. But how can we go about identifying what we're doing right as a business and what we can improve? That's where a SWOT analysis comes in. In this video, I'll be showing you what a SWOT analysis is, how to go about creating one, and how to apply its benefits to future business goals and strategies. Also, don't forget to reference the free template in the link below so you can work along with me and apply your learnings after you watch this video. Hi, my name is Stefan, and for the last seven plus years, I've been designing e-commerce experiences on Shopify, working with industry-leading brands such as Nestle Canada, Unilever Global, as well as local small businesses making a huge impact. Welcome to Learn with Shopify, where we give you the skills and knowledge that you need to start and grow a successful business. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. For those who aren't too familiar with the acronym SWAT, it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It can be used in a wide variety of cases, including developing a strategy, identifying a direction of growth for your company, or even product development, just to name a few. A SWOT analysis aims to discover what your business is doing better than your competitors, or maybe what your competitors are doing better than yourselves. Identifying opportunities and how to maximize them, as well as reacting to external environment changes. When you invest the time in organizing a SWOT analysis, you'll have the confidence in prioritizing future tasks, knowing that you're building on your strengths and minimizing your weaknesses. Here's a six step process I commonly see taken when creating a SWOT analysis. Number one, start off with a SWOT matrix. Luckily for you, we've prepared a template on your behalf. A SWOT matrix is displayed in different ways, but commonly seen as a two by two layout. Number two, gather your stakeholders. A SWOT analysis isn't meant to be done alone. In fact, I strongly recommend to have the company founders and team leaders heavily involved. Also, try to select people who can represent different aspects of your company, like a third-party shipping provider, or maybe an outsourced customer support rep. Everyone that's involved in your business's opinions count. Number three, host a brainstorming session. Bring together your team members and host a brainstorming session. Team members feed off each other's energies and new perspectives through casual discussions. So take the time to be collaborative. If your team doesn't know where to start, reference the example in the free SWOT analysis template provided. Number four, list your strengths and weaknesses. Both strengths and weaknesses should be identified as internal factors that affects how your business performs in a positive and negative way. These internal factors should be in your control to change. I personally always find this step difficult not to be biased, but try to take a step outside of your mindset and be as realistic as possible. Make sure to keep your points short and simple. And remember, having more than one person assisting you will allow you to feel less biased. Number five, list your external opportunities and threats. In comparison to strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats are typically external factors that are usually out of your control and can either be a pathway of growth or slow you down. And keep in mind, markets change quickly and competitors may neutralize what was an opportunity. So try to identify what opportunities and threats are easiest to tackle and prioritize first. And then you can make the most impact with the least amount of effort required. Number six, put your SWOT analysis to use. Once you're done, you can start taking action with confidence, knowing you and your team have identified all of the positive and negative scenarios for your future goals. Now that we've reviewed the process of developing our SWOT analysis, let's break down strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in more detail. And let's also pretend I'm a small handmade candle business with a growing customer base creating a SWOT analysis on improving my business's growth. Strengths. What do you do better than others in your industry? What is your unique selling proposition and why is it better than your competition? Now, in the case of my small business, my strengths are one, locally made candles that are quick to make and fulfill. Two, a loyal customer base that promotes my products on social channels often and purchases my products repeatedly. Three, the most reviewed Toronto-based Palo Santo scented candles. Number four, 
a handmade one-of-a-kind candle with premium ingredients. Now, other popular e-commerce related examples are cheaper shipping than other merchants, a better return system, or even a quick and easy end-to-end -end transactional journey. Weaknesses. What are negative internal factors that are causing your business to underperform? What weaknesses are hurting my operation performances and or cause financial losses? Now, in the case of my small business, my weaknesses are one, higher ingredients costs mean fewer candles options due to inventory costs. Two, delicate and bulky goods are expensive to ship. Three, lack of employees to delegate work hinders the growth and outreach opportunities. And four, little to no marketing causing a lack of new customers. Other common e-commerce related examples are a lack of funding for new inventory growth. However, luckily you have Shopify Capital that can be a great solution to easily fund new initiatives based off your current growth. Or maybe security and fraud concerns, meaning some people are still reluctant to use their credit cards online. But luckily choosing Shopify payments or other third-party gateways can really help mitigate and blunt this concern. Opportunities. What are external opportunities that can empower your business in a positive way? Opportunities are usually out of your control, but leveraging them can help generate more revenue, expand market size, and share and achieve extra growth. In the case of my business, the opportunities are one, the growth trend for candles has grown 20% in search results in comparison to last year. Two, leveraging new organic tools like Pinterest and Google Shopping will complement the increase in new search results. Three, the Palo Santo scent has been growing in popularity, which is one of my most popular scents. Number four, with more people working from home, the need to de-stress candle scents are on the rise. As a vetted Shopify expert, one of my favorite questions you should always be asking when identifying opportunities are, what new technologies can help me grow my business and get the advantage over my competitors? Now, new technologies and features have helped level the playing ground field for traditional retailers. For instance, improvements in the checkout card experience with ShopPay have created a quicker, smoother, and more customer-friendly shopping experience. Threats. What are factors that can affect or hurt the business by limiting its opportunities to grow or expand? Threats can also arrive from several sources, some internal, but typically external. For my candle business, the threats are, one, increases in ingredients costs can cause upward pricing. Two, competitors with similar scents are undercutting my prices. Three, with the low barrier of entry of the artisanal candle industry, new brands and existing competitors can mimic my business model or products. Four, changes in local retail laws can impact my business's sales. Now keep in mind, you should always be looking for a broad industry shift that might affect your growth. These include legal and regulatory changes. A common threat I typically see is a low barrier of entry as constant threat in e-commerce. With majority of e-commerce brands powered by Shopify, it's easy to set up an e-commerce business. Merchants can even sell items on Facebook and eBay without even setting up their own website. That's why focusing on building a strong customer base is extremely important in any stage of your growth. Using a SWOT analysis on a regular basis, perhaps once or twice a year, will give you a broad overview of the e-commerce industry trends, show you where you stand in relation with your competitors, and provide you insight into mitigating your weaknesses and making sure you're building on your strengths. Let's be honest, a SWOT analysis takes a good deal of time. While you can do it yourself with your team, you can also outsource these tasks by one, finding a Shopify expert consultant who will have more of an unbiased perspective. I recommend finding a Shopify expert under the expert guidance subcategory that will give you the most bang for your buck. Or two, leverage an existing customer base by adding a post-purchase survey using a tool like Inquire, or embed a link on your Shopify order confirmation email to a third party like Typeform and even offer incentive like get 10% off your next order. It can really maximize your impact for your survey and increase customer retention. By the end of your SWOT analysis, you should start feeling a sense of humbleness. You may think you already know everything that you need to do to be successful, but a SWOT analysis will force you to look at your business in new ways and from new directions. 
you'll look at your strengths and weaknesses and how you can leverage those to take advantages of the opportunities and threats that exist in your market. So after writing your SWOT analysis, what's next? Start building your business using a free trial on Shopify. Shopify is a subscription-based software that allows anyone to set up an online store and sell products or services. It's powerful, easy to use, and really simplifies running your business. Click the link right here to claim your free trial now. If you thought this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That actually helps our channel, and more importantly, our community grow. Leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to each and every one of you. For more simple, actionable tips to grow your online business, make sure to subscribe to learn with Shopify. We release a new video each week that will help take your e-commerce business to the next level.